Hello and welcome to another Autodesk Inventor Professional 2020 tutorial. So you finished your part and now you're going to save it. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to save a file. I'm going to show you how to save it in a couple of different ways. The first way is to save it simply as a part file. Mouse to the upper left hand corner, there's a tab that says file. You can either hit save or save as, and then you select the folder that you're going to want this in. I've already created a folder called Inventor Parts. I'm going to save it in there. And then I rename my part. I'm going to call this Riddensdale Magnet. So I know who made it and what it is. I don't have to change this just yet because you need to save this as type IPT. That's an Inventor Part File. The IPT indicates it's a 3D solid modeling part file. I then click save and it's now saved as Riddensdale Magnet.ipt. If I would like to print this, some printers require it saved in a certain format. I would have to click file, then I mouse over save as and choose save copy as. This will allow me to change the format or the type of file that it is from a solid modeling 3D part file into various other formats. I'm going to first choose an STL file. When you're saving a file in a different format, note that you don't want to change the name of the file. So it's going to remain Riddensdale Magnet. In doing this, you'll be able to readily find all the various aspects and saved files of that particular project you're working on. STL stands for Stereolithography. And it's a file format in CAD software that allows the part to be broken into various elements in order for the 3D printer to understand it and be able to print it in 3D. Another format that you can save it as is called an OBJ or an object file. When you save it as an OBJ, 3D printers, again, will be able to understand and break it down into its various levels, layers, and elements in order to print it. And remember, you don't want to change the part name. You'll want to keep the name Riddensdale Magnet. It will just have a different format. The next format you can save it as is called a step file. File, save as, save copy as, change the type to a step file. Step stands for standard for the exchange of product model data or step file. And it's again, it represents a 3D object in computer aided design. You've saved your file as a part file, as a step, an OBJ, and an STL. This concludes our tutorial on how to save part files.